What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video we're going to be talking about uh, why the heck is Nintendo music so good? <laughs> uh, now I've kind of had an idea of making this video for a, a little while but I wasn't sure how I was going to do it because I'm not really a musical type. Well, I, I love music but I'm not really like like I don't really know how to analyze like music like you know technically like why exactly this is technically a masterpiece song because of these notes or whatever I'm not that type of person but I love a ton of music and I the most of the music is from Nintendo stuff so I thought it would be fun to talk about some of the games that have my favorite music and uh, even though I don't know some most of them, some of the, my favorite songs that I do know the names of. Uh, now, yeah, like I said, I don't know every single song name, uh, or if I do, I know like the rough thing. Like, uh, like for example, let's just start off real quick. Mario Odyssey has a great soundtrack, uh, and I I think Gusty Gardens. No, not Gusty. That's from Super Galaxy, which I'm gonna talk about. But uh, Steam gardens or what i don't know what it's called but like the area where you like have the mechanical stuff with the woods or whatever uh like that song is really good i really love it and yeah so it's just going to be a case of where i'm not going to re rem remember the names of most of these songs but i will talk about some highlights and the the games of which these songs are so good from and why they're so good uh now i want to know uh what well, I want to know uh, what are your some what are some of your favorite songs? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, but for me, I'm just gonna list off some songs. So here we go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Mario Odyssey has great songs in it. I listed one, the Steam Gardens or whatever that woods area with uh, the mechanical stuff. Uh, I love that song. It's so good. Uh, I also love Jump Up Superstar. That's a fantastic song. Uh, very iconic. Uh, it brings me back uh, to to like 2017 when I first heard that song. Like it reminds me of when I first got the Switch because I got the Switch and Mario Odyssey the same day along with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Like that was so magical on Christmas. Like so yeah, it just brings me back to uh, that moment in time. And I think that's one of the real reasons why Nintendo music is so good because uh, people are nostalgic over things like they could be nostalgic over uh, NES, NES, uh, GameCube, Wii, you know, like just like nostalgia for anything. And I'm even nostalgic for, for things that happened like a few years ago. So uh, like it just brings you back to that moment of time and like allows you to be like, oh, that was really good. Um, like me, I'm very also nostalgic for Wii music, uh, like uh, the Wii menu, uh, no Wii menu, Wii Sop channel, the uh, Mario Galaxy, that's where the Gusty Gardens is, which is a really good song. Uh, there's also the Comet Observatory song, uh, but I love, and I do mean I love, like, like how it's uh, all a crystal uh, or orchestrated I, I don't know how you say that word but like basically it's like live performed uh orchestrated uh live performed and it's just brings a whole different music and atmosphere to the game and again this is another reason why nintendo music is so good it adds to the atmosphere or an environment of the game uh like i know lots of people's favorite songs are from the Donkey Kong series and there's some great songs in Donkey Kong Country specifically the SNES and even Donkey Kong Country Returns uh, or Tropical Freeze like those have some great songs in it most of them are not my taste but they really do add to the environment like this mystery this like like a uh, wood uh what wilderness area like it adds to the thing and mario galaxy is very similar where it kind of adds that th this awkward stated uh music kind of adds to that like you're not just like mario and like one planet you're going to several different planets across uh space and you feel so tiny like one of my also favorite songs is like the junk 
galaxy theme. I forgot what space junk. Gal I, again, I'm not a musical genius. I also don't know a lot of the song names, but like the song that plays when like it's like in a junk galaxy, like it makes you really feel like you're alone in the universe. And like, that's kind of a good thing because that area, like that galaxy in the game, it's like there's barely anything going on there. You're just Mario moving around and like it really feels like, uh, uh, like like very big galaxy and that you're not a big universe and you're like you're just one guy <laughs> uh, doing these things and it's really cool that Mario music can do that uh, or and just Nintendo music in general I mean Zelda specifically Breath of the Wild does this a lot which I know some people complain about how there's a lot of uh, ambient uh, songs like in the background like when you're moving around to uh fight uh, not fight enemies but when you're like in the just exploring out in the world uh you are there's not really music in the background just like some notes here and there but i think that really adds to the music because it shows you like oh there's uh not much going on in this world after uh ganon like you know uh, like attacked everything uh, but that just makes it even more crazy when crazy when good epic music plays like the Maduga theme like th th that song is really good it gets me all pumped up but ready to go the Hyrule Castle theme is so great I love it so much and it really gets you ready to fight Ganon and it's so cool so like those things just help the game stand out like it has ambient music uh, when you're like all alone and like uh, in like a giant field but like you really feel it when uh things get intense and i love that uh now we're kind of switching gears to like from the ambient music and loneliness <laughs> uh splatoon has some fantastic music i mean there's like so many good songs there uh some of my favorites are like the Splatfest theme songs, like the ones that play during Splatfest because they really feel like intense. I also love the Now or Never songs, uh, you know, that are like in Splatoon 1, 2, and 3, uh, like at the last minute of the match. Like it really feels like, oh, it's, it is really Now or Never. Like you, you, you have this one minute or so to pull off a win and like it makes you so ready to... Uh, play better in my opinion like i honestly think when i hear a song in splatoon that i really like i play better <laughs> like it's just so cool when it happens <laughs> uh, another one i want to talk about is metroid now i have experienced some metroid songs most of which i think are good uh, i don't think there's like any bad nintendo songs i i don't think uh but there is uh some I notice more than others, and I think Metroid does have good songs, but they are kind of uh, more subdued, more less uh, epic, more more again more situational, more environmental, and that's totally fine because good music allows you to get absorbed into the game, and that's another thing why Nintendo music is so good. It allows you to get absorbed into the game and like focus on the game and not uh you know does not care that much of, or whatever like it allows you in a sense to get motivated to play the game and that's really cool honestly um uh same thing with uh uh i don't know why i'm thinking <laughs> uh, but it's just so cool uh that that happens uh i also love uh mario kart songs like those are really good they allow you to get most of them are really epic and and allow you to get pumped to, to do races. And like every Mario Kart game has like great songs. Even Mario Kart Tour uh, has like great songs in it. Like uh, I think Vancouver Velocity. Uh, uh, like there's lots of good tour songs that are like, like really good and I cannot wait. If they're not already in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I cannot wait to hear them again in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because most of them are so good. Like the remixes they do in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe are really good. The only remix I kind of don't really care about that much is the Rainbow Road theme in uh, from Mario Kart 7's Rainbow Road. Uh, I honestly think the original version of that song, you know, the Mario Kart 7 Rainbow Road is the best version. It just feels so grand, but so 
uh, like you're all alone again. I love I love those kind of songs that make you feel like there's a big universe out there and you're just like one person uh, doing this little thing, but there's more things going on that you don't realize. I love that. And I think the original Mario Kart 7's uh, Rainbow Road did that way better than the Mario Kart 8 version because it just made it all techno and stuff like that. That's the, the that's like the only song that I kind of have an issue with, <laughs> uh, in terms of uh, remixes in Mario Kart 8. But all of the other ones are really good, like the Mario Kart 64's Rainbow Road, like that song in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is really good. Like I I honestly think better than the original, but the original is still very iconic, very classic and nostalgic. Even though I wasn't born at that time, it's still. Even if I wasn't born at that time, I could still feel a sense of nostalgia because like that's just how good like Nintendo music is, you know? Uh, of course, there's also more Zelda songs that I didn't talk about. There's the Great Sea song when they're out exploring the sea in Wind Waker. That's a fantastic song, ready to explore into the unknown and like it gets you pumped up. And like most of these songs are either allow you to get pumped up or to uh, kind of realize like, whoa, I'm just like one person and there's like a whole big area to explore. Like, I love those kinds of songs, you know? Um, another one of my favorite, favorite, favorite uh, soundtracks is from the Xenoblade series. Uh, all the Xenoblade games have fantastic music. The only one I want to say that has the lesser, and I do mean like, if we're ranking them, I think maybe uh, Xenoblade X has the least amount of music that I like. But that doesn't mean that there's no good songs in Xenoblade X. There's fantastic songs in Xenoblade X. Like, uh, they're very different from the other kinds of Xenoblade games. Uh, but, like, they're still really good. But I think all the other Xenoblade games have way more better quality of good songs in them. But, again, no discredit to Xenoblade X. That still has great music, too. Uh, but, like, Xenoblade 1 has, like, great battle themes, great emotional themes. Uh, uh, Xenoblade 2, same thing, has great songs. In fact, one of my favorite songs of all time is from Xenoblade 2, which was uh, Klaus's experiment thing in uh, like the birth of the universe. Like I love that song, the song that plays in the background. It's just so good. It like allows you to like, it just feels so powerful. And like these like songs feel, they're all like all from all different franchises of Nintendo. They're all different in terms of like what you're trying to do like some are trying to pump you up some are trying to uh make you uh like kind of feel isolated uh like there's like so many different variations but they're all so good for like either nostalgia purposes uh it just like like i don't know like there's just so many good songs uh so you know play three has great songs as well uh like i love uh the it's like the one that plays with the end fight uh sorrow or, or whatever battle with sorrow i think that's what it's called i don't know uh but like so many great songs future connected has great songs as well like the fog beast theme uh torta great songs as well like just so many good songs at you know i I feel like I could make a whole video dedicated on Xenoblade blade songs <laughs> on its own because it's that good <sighs> but yeah guys i think that's gonna be it for the video i might do like a part two to this because uh there's like so many more songs i didn't list like there's like pokemon songs which is kind of like nintendo uh but it's kind of like its own separate thing but there's some good pokemon songs you know uh not as much as i like, say other series uh but like uh, again i could do like a part two because just there's so many great songs and it's i just wanted to talk about it with you guys so guys, let me know again some of your favorite songs in the description below. But besides that, I think that's going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.